that, like that, and you can see, um, yeah, it's looking pretty good, looks like that, um, you can always tweak it, and I often will take these vertexes and kind of start it down like this, and, um, actually I'd want to turn camera base selection off, so it um, selects both of them on both sides. Um, yeah, we can see it's selecting both. And, yeah, just move it up like that, so, yeah, and based on how big it was originally, that would be the bottom. And then what we can also do is just go to faces, and, you know, we can select over these and extrude them and well I got those that I don't want them but oh because camera base selection is off now so it's selected at the bottom but you get the idea it's creating rails and you can you know bring it in like that and now if you ignore the bottom you have your staircases with your rails and you can kind of play with points and move them around however works best for you but um, now really quick um, let's say you wanted it to go up and then do another staircase uh, what you can do you can just do an extrude um, out to here and you could extrude here and then create another one oops extrude here world space and then create another one going up but actually what I think is easier is let me undo those extrudes um, you go you want to go to object mode and you can just duplicate that move it up move it over and rotate it so it's facing the other way. Oops. Um. Yeah. One moment. Yeah, just getting this lined up. And you'd want to spend more time with this than I'm doing, <laughs> but for tutorial purposes, I won't waste your time. Um, so you can duplicate that select that, extrude out, and then you can extrude out these faces, like that, world space, then go to, to delete these faces, and delete these faces as well. Probably that one is that one too, and that one too. Then you go to object mode and do mesh combine to so this same object. Then you want to use the append poly tool. I have it in my shelf. I believe it's under, well, I always just grab it under my shelf. It's a very useful tool, but when you use that, you can, you know, click here and then here and hit Y so you can just click again and have it do the same thing and just go around. This can be very useful. I use it sometimes with modeling people, you know, attaching a, some to the head or attaching to, you know, whatever. But, yeah, if we go back in object mode, you then have these two connected to each other. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what I learned when modeling stairs, and I hope a lot of these techniques will be helpful to you in all of your modeling. This is Akobo signing out.